yo what's going on guys today we'll be going for top one in the world with hog earthquake hog earthquake definitely has been stronger before but you can still have success with it even now you just have to play it pretty much perfectly if you don't you can very easily get punished especially in this current meta with all of the little prints we're up against a hooper definitely not uh leroy james or anything like that so there's nothing to worry about i know he runs mega knight i'm not feeling too bad about this though because normally when i play piggies it is pretty difficult but we have hog so it should be quite a bit better oh no our firecracker i'll go for the high tesla oh no that's on the guardian okay this is pretty bad Bro, why are my ice spirits inaccurate for no reason? <laughs> I don't like this very much. We do have a chance, though. If he does decide to keep on going on the left side... Okay, I think he will go on the left side, so... This is actually not too bad for us, because we can just push into the right side. And we still have a good chance to get some hog hits. Okay, so he might try to Mega Knight the bridge here. He can either arrows or Mega Knight the bridge. I don't think he'll have Elixir for both. Okay. I think we're okay. Oh, he misplaced the miner. Yeah, we're fine. The only problem here is that he's going to try to activate his king tower. Which is pretty bad for us. We can hog rider. Okay, Evo Cracker is alive. This is actually not too bad. One more hit. We're somehow up in damage. <laughs> I don't know how much damage level 15 Hog Rider does, but I think it's close to 500 per hit. <laughs> Pretty much like a rocket with each hit. Like a level 14 rocket with each hit. I think he will Mega Knight, yeah. I guess Firecracker won't really splash the tower, but it's okay. Shouldn't be too hard to defend. The nice thing here as well is that he can't kill our Evo Cracker, really. Bro, what did that Ice Spirit just do? <laughs> that was not very nice. Okay, we still have a good chance though, for sure. Gonna Skellies. We're already pretty much back to our Hog Rider. Can't hog into a little Prince though. Just gonna Tesla for defense. I do want to have some control of the field. We could get a pretty good Evo Cracker Hog Rider. Okay, I'll go in for the Hog Rider. We can Evo Cracker, and whatever he plays will just be free value. Come on. Okay, this is big. I think we might have got him. <laughs> Pretty much just the Evo Cracker can carry. I'll go for the defensive Tesla. Does counter Evo Bats okay? Oh no. Okay, we're all good. We can Hog Rider. I think he has no way to stop this. Yeah, it's over. Alright, pretty nice win. We're up against Yellier, also known as Riley. If you don't understand, just check the comment section. Someone will probably explain. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, he's running the broken Minor Poison Mortar deck. We can just kite these minions. Pretty bad log for him. Man, the Miner did so much damage already. Dang, level 15 Miner is kind of broken. It is good to go opposite lane in this matchup, but we already have quite a bit of damage on the right side. Gonna Hog Rider. We'll see what he does. Okay, of course he would do the most predictable thing possible. <laughs> the only problem is that sometimes when your opponent plays so predictably, it's actually hard to predict that they would be that predictable. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys or not, but sometimes to me, it does happen. Do have to log here. Pretty interesting miner. Okay, he's gonna goblin because we have no log. <laughs> I know him too well. He always does the same punishing plays every time he thinks you're low elixir. <laughs> okay, not a bad start. Not too good, but we can definitely win. The thing is, he does have his king tower up already, and also... It is good for him to go same lane. You might think Hoggy Q counters Mortar, but it's not really true anymore because 
All they have to do is stack up the little prints in the same lane, and then you can't play your Hog Rider for like a minute straight. And you just have to endure their minor poison pushes. The one nice thing here is that he has no mini tank, like a knight or anything, so it's kind of hard for him to block our firecrackers. Okay, nice to force out the little prince on the left side. Sometimes it can be good to cycle cards on the side you're not going for just to try to divert your opponent's attention. Don't think this will be any hog hits. Minions are pretty good against the hog rider if your firecracker doesn't lock onto them. We'll see if he tries to little prince ability or not. Oh guys, just a very random thing. I saw Aragon's face for the very first time today. He shared a photo. And I will say, man, he is so different than I thought. I thought he would be super devious looking with all the stuff he says. So basically, picture a normal Indian slash Nepalese man. And then instead of looking all devious, picture him as the opposite of devious. And that's exactly what Aragorn looks like. Ooh, beautiful firecracker Evo. So much elixir out of him. Okay, gonna knight log as well we're looking really good right now just the evo cracker can really change things that's why i do prefer evo cracker over evo knight evo knight can be really good sometimes too but the evo cracker surviving stuff like arrows and also sometimes getting so much chip damage is really clutch in a lot of matchups there are quite a few decks with arrows right now so i feel like it's pretty crucial to have the evo cracker you can definitely play this deck with evo knight as well though Oh, really bad minions. At this point, we kind of just have to try to Earthquake Cycle and endure the Monor Poisons. Pretty bad Monor, he has no poison, so very easy defense. Gonna hog the back. I don't think he can really kill it yet without playing the Mortar. We could try to maybe outcycle the Mortar, we'll see though. Okay, I guess we probably can't because we can't really push into the little prince. I'll evo cracker. Maybe we can get lucky? Not quite. Okay, this could actually be a bit close. He's cycling like five poisons a second right now. <laughs> the three card cycle is pretty crazy with minor poison. I feel like minor poison got so much better ever since champions. Gonna firecracker. Maybe we can get some shrapnel. Should be a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> okay, if we lose, I won't be too happy, but I think we should be okay. Okay, misplaced miners, so hey, me and Riley, we're one to one right now <laughs> for misplaced things. <laughs> okay, I think we got him. He doesn't have much time, so don't really know what he's gonna do. Yeah, there's no way he has enough time to do anything. Alright, pretty nice win. I'll see you guys in the next match. We got a match. I'll cycle the log. The one thing about the Evo Firecracker is that it's obviously really good to get to it, but it's also kind of risky to cycle your Firecracker a lot in single elixir. At least to cycle it passively. If you cycle it in response to something, it's fine, but if you play it passively... Your opponent pretty much just gets the free king tower activation. I think this guy will have giant graveyard. I'll go for the ice spirit. They usually try to go for, yeah, like something like a little prince to snipe your firecracker. If they don't arrows it. <laughs> he just completely failed the snowball. <laughs> I don't know what physics is doing right now in Clash Rail, but I'll take it. Should be some pretty nice damage. He will get his king tower up, but... Damage is already done. I know the Evo Cracker will be really good in this matchup too. He can only kill it by spending 5 Elixir with his arrows and snowball. But if we play it at the bridge with our Hog Rider, he pretty much has to take the big shot. I'll go for the Firecracker. We'll see if he plays the arrows or not. Hopefully he does. Okay, now we can just try to outcycle him. We'll see if he defends. Okay, not a chance he's gonna defend. We have to go for a super late log here. This might be a little bit bad. I 
I mean, we're up one skeleton hit. I guess I'll take it. Could have been a bit worse. It is good to go opposite lane in this matchup anyway, so... Probably a bit better for us. We do have the Evo Firecracker. Okay, we can just go in for the Hog Rider. I know he has Evo Archers in cycle. Yeah, so... This will only get one hit. This could be a little bit bad, but Evo Archers will go in front, so I'm not too scared. Okay. Tesla is nice and healthy, so we should be fine. Should be one hog hit. Oh, not quite, because of the King Tower. The thing is, the Firecrackers are just going to keep on blocking up the map for him. Okay, he's still going in. But I think we'll be okay. Firecracker should run back. Yeah. So we're going to be fine here. Might take a little bit of damage, but not too much. And now he has to deal with this. Nice one hit. We can Firecracker for some free chip damage. Okay, he is going in here. Is he going to Graveyard? I guess not. And we do have our Evo Cracker already. I'll just go for it here. It should bounce back to the Dark Prince. He could arrows it since it's kind of low on HP. Okay, how is he going to defend? Wait a minute, the minions. Wait, one more hit. Oh, it's over. Way too easy, man. We're up against a big fish. But there are always bigger fish in the sea, and today, we're the bigger fish. <laughs> so anyways guys, as a lot of you already know, I like to sometimes give advice in my videos. And I was thinking, I do have a bit more to say to you guys. I'm not going to say advice every day, because if I say it every day, then it kind of defeats the purpose of giving good advice. If it's just something I have to do every day, you know, then I can't always give actual proper advice which would ruin the whole point of it so anyways the advice i have for today is that you have to do good even when no one is watching a very simple statement but you know whenever people do good nowadays it feels like a lot of the time you know there's youtubers giving back to the needy but they're always putting a camera in their face getting recognition for it there's celebrities supporting these causes and always documenting it so everyone can know Everyone can praise them. But what really matters is what you do when no one is watching. Because it's not good to do a good act just to get recognized for it. And I know sometimes, you know, even even maybe I, you know, in some of my videos, maybe I said something like, I did this or I did that. But it kind of does depend what your intention is, right? Like if I say, I did a certain good thing, it kind of depends what my reasoning for saying that is, right? Like if I say it to inspire people to also do good, then that would actually be a good thing for me to say it. So it really does depend on the circumstance. But if I just said it for people to think I'm a good guy or something, then it wouldn't be so good. And now that I do think about it, I know there is quite a debate about those YouTubers who give back to like homeless people and put the camera in their face and stuff like that. I mean, I can kind of understand those YouTubers because, yes, they are putting a camera in their face, but I'm sure those homeless people and whatever would rather have a camera in their face than have to go hungry that day, right? So, I'm sure they still would prefer that. And also, the reason that a lot of those YouTubers do it, I know some of them do have bad intentions, but I think a lot of them don't have bad intentions with it. I think a lot of them just do it so that they can continue to keep on giving back because if they don't make those videos eventually they're gonna probably run out of money unless they're a very rich person so yeah maybe maybe some of you you know do good acts like maybe you do the chores in your house or you do something nice for someone but a lot of the time i feel like people have the wrong intentions with it you know it's still good that you did a good act but at the same time you should really tr try to do good acts even when you get no recognition for it that's what really is the most important and i feel like it brings a lot of well the way we say it in my religion is we say heavenly fortune it brings a lot of heavenly fortune to you and what a lot of other people call that is karma 
I know not everyone believes in karma, but a lot of people do. Karma is basically just the energy around you. So, you know, you put out good energy and in return you get it back. A lot of people say they don't believe in karma because they do something good and in return all that happens is bad stuff. The thing is, man, it's not going to happen right away. If you just did something good and you get even more good right back to you, then everyone would be doing good all the time. It's not meant to be easy all the time. Life is going to always throw curveballs at you. So yeah. Man, this Sparky player stands no chance. <laughs> I don't even have to focus and I'm still going to destroy this guy. He was BMing me before, so <laughs> we can give a, I don't know, a little bit of crying. <laughs> when it comes to Clash Royale, everything goes out the window. I'm no longer a nice guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.